So sleep is one of our pillars at Go Live Abundance, and it is extremely important for so many processes in our brains. You know, not only the fact that we don't want to feel tired in the morning, but there's so much renewing and regenerating in the brain's processing throughout the night. So I'm always looking for ways to improve my sleep, and I've been reading a lot. And so today I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about what I have found has worked for me. So I have to say that this is not advice for you. Um, you have to do your own research, check with your own doctor. I, this is not medical advice. I'm just gonna share what has worked for me from my own research. Already we talk about the importance of certain things that have to take place in order to get good sleep. One of them is getting sunlight in your eyes in the morning. And then now also at the end of the day, try to get some sunset in your eyes in the evening. And what that does is that it resets our circadian rhythm, which is our 24 hour cycle of our bodies kind of in tune with the earth. And um, so when we wake up in the morning, it tells our body to wake up. When we get sunlight in our eyes, when we go to bed at night, we look at the sunset, it tells our body to start slowing down, get ready for bed. So that also includes then to turning off your phones and turning off the TV, turning off any extra lights because that primes our our body to, to slow down and, and start getting ready for bed. So a nighttime ritual is important. The other thing is try to keep your room on the cool side and keep it dark. So if you're seeing light coming in through anywhere, if you have electrical appliances, anything in you know toothbrushes or your phone charger or whatever, try to not have that in your view. Also, no caffeine after two. And then also watch your alcohol intake in the evening because that can also affect your sleep cycle. Um, if you are trying to eat a low carb diet, any of the carbs you do have, what I found helpful is to save those carbs for later for dinner. Carbs release serotonin, helps your brain relax, and it also helps you with your sleep. I started looking into some supplements and magnesium is one, okay? I take one scoop of magnesium, I'm using this magnesium bisglycinate. Also, this research comes from Dr. James D. Nicolantonio. He also recommends magnesium, but I like this bisglycinate. One scoop, it is 200 milligrams, and I mix it in some water, and I sip on this maybe an hour to two hours before I go to bed. Glycine, I was already drinking bone broth, but not every night. And I thought, I just noticed a connection that when I would drink a little bit of glycine before I went to bed, or <laughs> bone broth before I went to bed, that I would sleep better. And I thought, is that a coincidence or whatever? Just feels good, tastes good. Well, I found out that bone broth is high in glycine. I don't do it every night, like I said. So I started taking glycine. Dr. James D. Nicolantonio recommends three grams an hour before bed. Dr. Andrew Huberman recommends two grams every three to four nights. I am taking only one capsule right now, which is gonna be a half a gram. And I don't know, it's just worked for me. There's times I've thought about taking two, but sometimes I'll still have my broth. Not always, it's like a half a cup. Anyway, so I take this maybe about an hour before I go to bed. The new one that I added is this, it's called ovarian care, but the main ingredient that I'm using it for is inositol. Okay, it's also got folate, it's got coenzyme Q10, um, wild blueberry complex, green tea extract, and pomegranate extract. And so I just liked it because it has a little bit of other helpful ingredients that I think are just, Good. Um, so anyway, I take one scoop of this. Between the three of these, I have found that my sleep has improved. I'll sleep through the night. Sometimes I still get up. I don't think you should ex expect every time that you should be sleeping seven, eight hours straight through. It's not really even expected, but when I do wake up, I can fall back asleep usually. And that's the key. So rather than like waking up and then being up for a while, I found that this has also helped me fall back asleep. So my quality of sleep I think has improved. I wake up feeling refreshed. And um, so anyway, just want to take a few minutes to share this with you. So again, in summary, I use one scoop of this magnesium bisglycinate, one scoop of this inositol. This one happens to be called ovarian care. Like I said, for men, they can use it too. Um, it's not just for women. It helps with insulin regulation. And then this glycine. You'll have to experiment on your own. Some people find that they take inositol during the day and that's actually more helpful. I have not tried that yet. So I take all of these at night before I go to bed. Like I said, again, I'll still maybe have a half a cup of bone broth or something, but just something to kind of help relax you. And like I said, this ritual kind of primes you for sleep. Again, you know, 
do your own research. Read up on these ingredients and um, hopefully it can help you to get some better sleep. And ask us any questions if you like. Wishing you a good night's sleep. Okay, thanks. Good night. <laughs>